we're going to review with you uh, some inequalities. Inequalities you should recall from uh, algebra. So inequalities are going to be very similar to um, uh, to equations. So uh, let's take a look. Okay. Uh, Supposing I had 2x is equal to 16. Obviously, we know we can divide and say x is equal to 8. Now, when I have 2x is greater than 16, okay, this becomes now an inequality, not an equation, all right? And although the technique is quite similar, the answers are not. So, when I divide both sides by 2, okay, I get x over here and I get 8. And I'm going to preserve this inequality, say it, that it is, okay, greater than 8, which you should be able to see that if I put in values greater than 8, 10, 2 times 10 is 20, which is greater than 16, you know, 2 times uh, 15 is uh, 30, which is greater than 16, that satisfies this. On the other hand, if I put in values less than 8, like 2, 2 times 4 is not greater than 16. That works. That shows that this is the only set of values that work. Now I'm going to take one slightly different example. Negative 2x is greater than 16. Now so I divide by negative 2. Both sides divide by negative 2. This gives me x. This gives me negative 8. But there's a rule with inequalities which we're working on here. Anytime you divide by a negative, you must reverse the sign. So now this becomes the solutions. x is less than negative 8. And if you want to verify that, we'll throw in values that are less than negative 8. Negative 12. So negative 2 times negative 12 is 24, which of course is greater than 16. So uh, the only thing that we have to remember uh, when we're solving these is uh, when dividing by a negative, you must reverse the direction of the sign. keep that in mind, uh, all the problems are going to be fine. So take a look at a few examples and then uh, we'll be done. So in this, again the first thing is we want to isolate the, the x term, so we're going to add 5, add 5 to both sides, okay, which leaves me negative 2x, okay, uh, and adding 5 does not require me to do any sign changes, okay, so that's 21 when I get that. Now, I still keep that sign as less than. Now I divide by negative 2, and I get x is less than negative 10 and 1 half, okay? Because I had to reverse the sign. Oh, I didn't reverse the sign. Let me reverse the sign. x is greater than. Again, that's the thing I have to watch out for. Whenever I divide by a negative, I must reverse the direction of the sign. So uh, you've got to be cautious of that. Uh, let's take a look down here. We're going to add 10 to both sides. I'm going to put 7 here, add 10. Gives us negative 4z is less than negative 12. I divide by negative 4. I am dividing by a negative. So I'm going to not forget to reverse my sign. 3z is greater than 3. Let's look down here. 11. Let's simplify this first. It's negative 2x plus 2 is less than 12, negative 2x, we're going to subtract 2, is less than 10. We're going to divide by a negative, requiring me to reverse the sign, okay, negative 2 into 10 is negative 5, so x is greater than negative 5. If you remember, only when you divide by a negative do you reverse the sign, like here, 6n is less than 
I'd have to subtract 3, which would give me negative 21. And then I would say divide by 6 and get n is less than negative 21 over 6. Uh, and there's no reversal of the sign. I can simplify that to be dividing by 3, negative 7 over 2. Okay? Uh, so there's only reversal of the sign when dividing by a negative. When dividing by a negative, okay, do I reverse the sign? So other than that, you're going to be fine. If you look over here, okay, uh, I could, in number 18 here, first divide by negative 3. I'm going to make that suggestion to you. So I did divide by negative. I do have to reverse by sign. That would make that 5. And then I got the, the, neg the negative 3 is canceling out here, leaving me 4x minus 1, which I should be able to solve. Saying 4x is less than or equal to adding 1, 6. x is less than or equal to uh, 6 fourths, which is, of course means uh, less than or equal to 3 halves. Okay? Let's remember dividing by negative, reverse the sign. Dividing by negative, reverse the sign. Okay? Whenever you divide by a negative, reverse the sign. Let's just do one more. 8y minus 4y is 4y. Plus 11 is less than negative 33. That's 4y. Subtract 11 is less than negative 44. I need to divide by 4, which will give me 11. I'm dividing by a positive, so there's no need to reverse the sign. Y is less than negative. Y is less than negative 11. Negative 11. So all you got to remember with these problems, which we'll have for tomorrow is right here. When dividing by a negative, when working with inequalities, when dividing by a negative, reverse the direction of the sign, and otherwise you're just going to solve it just like an equation. Okay, so that's it.